Hey guys. Today I'm going to answer the questions that you have given me a couple weeks ago and yeah, let's begin. The first question was from Explore. His first question is when do you most like to listen to music and why? Um, I listen to music most of the time when I'm walking to school or going to work just because it keeps m my mind from splitting in different air ways. I tend to, uh, my thoughts are like a thousand and one kind of thing and so music helps me keep focus and sometimes I just hate having emptiness in my head so it kind of keeps it there plus I love music and when it comes to work I work alone in a big building and so especially in the morning times I especially like to have my music just because the building makes such weird noises. You know how buildings are, especially the old ones, where they make those creaky noises and then sometimes, you know, it's dark outside so you're kind of getting a little bit nervous about it because you're by yourself and so music helps keep, helps calm my nerves. Um, the second question he gave is, where do you find new sources of music? My main source is Pandora, just because um, you can click a song name in there and then it'll give you all these new songs that you may have never heard before, so that's really cool and I like that because I'm then I'm learning about new music, so that's really good. Um, the third question is, do you like to go see live music? I've actually never went to see live music, I never went to a concert or anything like that before, so I don't really have an opinion on that, but I would actually love to at least see one concert just to actually have an opinion. And at what point in your life did you realize music was an important part of who you are? Um, music was actually, it took a while be before I actually began to listen to music in the sense of music as you see me listening, as you see the music I show you, that gave some music was not something I actually listened to until I was in high school and not even then really. I was raised in a Christian home and we were very conservative and so they believed that unless the music was like hymns or Christian music it wasn't appropriate and that it was worldly and it would bog you down into satanic stuff and so we were never really allowed when we were kids and I never actually felt like I was missing anything at that time. But then um, when I was in high school, I, you know, I was going through a rough time and a lot of my friends were listening to these music and I was like, you know, these songs, this actually sounds interesting. So I, that's when I first had my first taste of what I would call real music. And so I was really grateful to my mom, especially just because she never actually tried to force me away from it. You know, she said, you know, I wish you wouldn't, but, you know, since you're going to, okay, you know. So she wasn't, like, really mean, and it actually helped me when it came to music to actually expand because I didn't feel that guilt that I would have if she had kept me away from it. And then I did it without her, per you know, her approval. And so... That was when I first, but then I had a few years when uh, it, when I felt like I was struggling with the existence of God and everything, and if it was right for me to be listening to this music. And so, when I got out of high school and I just made my decision on if I believed in God, that is when I really expanded, and that's when I really started feeling the importance of it in my life. Because without music, I don't know what, what you know. Like it's just like it gives. You know, you have that, you have something in your life that keeps you stable, even, you know, when you don't have somebody to be there to talk to, you have music to at least calm you down when you're upset, or when you're happy, you have music that keeps you in that mood, you know, so it, it, it helps a lot in my life, so, yeah. Um, the next questions come from Godfather of Green Bay. His first question is, what is your first childhood memory? I have several that comes up when I think of this question. I was so excited for this one because I have a lot of fun. I feel like I have a few favorite memories. So I'm not going to share the first one because I don't know which one came first. But the first one that comes to mind is, um, 
my dad, we we lived in a small town in Wisconsin, and so when it was winter time, you know, it would snow like a whole bunch. And I remember when, well, this is a different memory, but the mom was coming up. But I remember when my dad, he'd go to our next door neighbors and to um, shovel their lo their driveway for them, because that's what he would do every winter. And I would walk in his footsteps, and my, I, you know, I'm short, I'm from really short, so it, the snow drip, the snow would go up to my knees, and it was so fun, because I had so much fun trying to go right to his steps, and he had bigger steps, of course, than me at that time, so it was, that was a sweet memory for me, but the memory that I'm talking about is when he, we had a, a house, like a nice big house, and a fence, and a big yard, and so he would make, like, snow hills, you know, like that, and then he would drive us around those snow hills, through the, out the yard, through the sidewalk, and then back again, and he would act like the horse, and we were the, we were on a sleigh, and so, I felt bad for him, because he, he, you know, we could hurt his knees doing that, but it was one of my favorite memories, just because he was doing this for us without complaining, <laughs> and the other memory that I have that was, it's my absolute favorite memory of my childhood just because it signifies what my childhood really was like in the sense of my playtime. Not my family life, but just the way I was in my free time. And I had this plastic tricycle at that time, and I got these two um, toilet paper rolls, and I stuck something in the middle so that it looked like binoculars. And I would ride my tricycle all around the block because we could only ride our bikes around the block. And whenever a car came by, I would look at the license plate to see if it was the right license plate, and I would chase the car, but I thought he was the bad guy, and so I was like a detective searching for the bad guy. And that was one of my favorite memories, and it kind of signifies something about my childhood. And what, ch what I see a childhood should be, and it's that I feel that children these days are clogged up so much with their toys, their games, movies and stuff like that, they don't actually have time to go out and have an imagination. And that was just me dreaming up something. And that was something I would, you know, if I had ever had children, that was something I would want to give to my child, was imagination. The sense of going out there and just dream, you know, and not have to have a toy or a game to do it. So, um... His second question was, how would you like to be remembered? I, I don't really care how I'm remembered. I guess that sounds bad. But the point with my life is that all I want when it comes to my life is to know at the end, when I'm looking back in my life at the end of my road, my journey, is that I did good. Like, if I had to give myself a nickname, what would it be? I have actually had several nicknames. I've had AMB as a nickname, Amber. Amberlina, um, Detective Skittles, so I've had at least four nicknames in the past, my past life, and so I'm just like, I really don't like nicknames, just because when you have a nickname, it's supposed to be somebody who's special to you, and so a lot of these nicknames came from people who I had a connection with, and so I don't know, and I don't really want to give myself a nickname, but if I had to give myself a nickname, I guess I would use my middle name, just because I like that name better than my first one. <clears throat> When did I join Zynga? I, the first time, the very, very, very first time I joined Zynga was in high school. Um, but this recent one, I joined Zynga last fe February of 2011. Uh, what brought me here was actually, the first time that brought me here was um, a friend. She told me about it, and so I signed up. But now it's mainly just a place to share my thoughts and you know, what I do now is share my thoughts, my pictures, everything like that, so. Um, do people in my face-to-face -face life have counselor? No, and I'm kind of glad about that. Not that I share anything really personal about people in my life, just that this is something I like to keep separate from my life, I guess, in a sense, it's because it's, it's just kind of like an escape. I can do all this and not have to focus on my life, in a sense, so it's kind of an escape. Um, have I met anyone that I've actually met through Sega? Yes. Um, and what am I just dying to say about Sega? Grow up. 
I kind of, like, when it comes to what I'm saying about growing up, I, I think that WordPress is more sophisticated. But I find that when it comes to WordPress, you have a harder time finding people, like real people, who are actually writing, you know, like writing, writing. So what I, that's why I like saying it, just because it's easier to find people, it's easier to get connected with people, it's easier to read their stuff and comment and all that stuff. But I really like how WordPress is more sophisticated in their look. So I wish that WordPress and Zynga, you know, like Zynga would get, would become more sophisticated in their look, but would keep their simplicity when it comes to searching and finding and connecting with people, you know what I mean? So I wish they would grow up in that sense. I also wish that the people on Zynga would grow the hell up, just because I wish that, uh, you know, it feels like everywhere you turn on Zynga, you're finding somebody who's having an argument with somebody else over the silliest thing ever. And, you know, I wish people would remember that one thing. We all have different opinions, we all have different beliefs, we all have different political beliefs, we all have different whatevers, and you cannot accept it, then why even read with that person's stuff, you know, just stay away, there's no need to argue about it, you know, agree to disagree is the, the quote, and that I think that people should live by, <laughs> and so, yeah, I wish that people would just grow up, I wish Zynga would grow up. The one problem I have with Zynga is the background stuff. I hate how I, I feel like my background like right now is kind of messy and I want to do something to make it nicer but it's so hard to figure it out and I think their layout with it is just a little bit awkward. So I wish they would change it so you could do more stuff with it but keep it simple because it's easy for me to change my background and stuff but I feel like I'm hindered or at least I don't know how to do it right. So. Um, plane in the window asks, what's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? Well, um, I've had, actually had several embarrassing things happen to me, especially when I was in high school, because that was when I was the most awkward person in the world, but I guess it would have to be, um, I was on the phone with the boys there, and this is when I was in a Christian academy at that time, and I remember that I was mad with the guys because they were being jerks to me, and I've always had problems with guys. And so I, I hang up, and I say, I say some, I, I curse. I don't remember exactly what I said. I remember it said the F word in it. And all of a sudden, I realize that there's some guy behind me, and then he shows me this card and says, "Did you need to talk?" And I'm, and I just realized that I cursed right in front of a pastor, and I'm like, "Oh crap!" <laughs> and I don't blush that easily, so you can imagine when I say that I actually blushed. That was a really embarrassing and humiliating moment for me because I don't really blush at all. And the one problem that really, um. The one thing that really made me upset with him is that he made it out like I had a problem. I mean, just because I got mad at somebody does not mean that I have a issue, you know? So, I wish people would, you know, I wish that they, he wouldn't have made such an assumption that it was me who had the problem. The guy actually was the one that had the problem. So, whatever. But, um, yeah. Paradot21 asked, would you rather be really, really hot or really, really cold? I'd rather be really, really hot just because when it gets really cold, I, ha I my fingers get swollen up and I have like problems there. So yeah, even though I like the winter time, the cold is just awful to me. So I li I'd rather be hot. Um, Starman Jones asked, What are seven things that made you smile this week? Um, I'm not going to give seven things just because I don't have a life. So, other than work and school, there's nothing much going on. So, I think that the seven things, that the things that made me happy this past week um, was getting my financial aid check and knowing that it was a substantial check. Like I was thinking that I was gonna get like a, like a hundred dollars, but I got way way more 
than that, and so I was really happy about that. Um, the other thing that's making me really happy is that Tabby has been really lovey-dovey on me. I don't know, but he's been really happy with me and just cuddling and wanting to be petted a lot, and just he's been sleeping with me at night time, so it really feels good to know that my cat is actually happy. So that has made me um, smile. Um, Yeah, a lot of it has to do with animals, so I'm just really, yeah, I smile every time I see a, my dog, mom, my mom's dog, or Tabby, or, yeah, so. Uh, and then, three important best things of one week each of the other three weeks of the month. Well, last week I got the check, but the one thing that really made me really, really happy, and about getting that check was that I was able to pay my mom off for her, her help with my school. Um, cause she paid, off, paid for my books and paid for last semester's classes, so I was really happy that I could get her, get, give her back the money that she gave me. Uh, the second thing was, that made me really happy was to be able to help a family friend with her mother. Every week I go and help her out. Uh, I spend time with her mother one day a week, and so that really makes me happy to be able to do that. Um... The third thing that has made me smile this month was knowing that I'm able to go to a women's retreat this um, this Friday. It's a weekend retreat, and we get to go to Tanaya Lodge, and that was the place I actually was hoping I get to see the inside of because there's just a lot of cool stuff inside. So I'm really happy I'll be able to explore. Hopefully, I can take some pictures for you guys of what it looks like on the inside. So. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for giving me questions. I hope I answered your questions okay. I hope I wasn't too boring. And I, yeah, see you in the next one.